guys, today I'm following up on the video I made last week, five off-grid tools for surviving in our 17-foot bus. This weekend I made the bucket washing machine with a plunger oscillator and I wanted to show you how it works. If you have any advice for us, please leave it in the comments below. The only tools I needed was my drill and I used the biggest drill bit that came in my kit. And then I had this and this worked out just perfect. It, it's a little hole saw that attaches to your drill and it's uh, 7 8 by 22 millimeters. This fit my plunger handle through the bucket perfect and it made really nice hole sizes so when I lift my bucket up it drains really quickly. The washing machine has two buckets. It's got the main bucket which is un unaltered. And then there's this bucket, which is what I used the 3 8 hole saw bit for. And I just put holes all over the whole thing. All right. The plunger, I put holes through as well. And I'll give you guys a cost breakdown. I gotta look up how much I pay for the plunger. One thing I'd suggest is having a little dedicated washing machine towel. I would want to put this somewhere and I put it on the ground and I make a little puddle. So I have one of these so that I'm not constantly dirty in a new towel. I just lay that out and then we'll pop that on the floor there and it's just ready for me to do that with. My Part of my laundry detergent is washing soda. And if you didn't know this, you can make washing soda from baking soda and you can easily find information about that online. It's in a Dr. Bronner's bottle because before I learned how to make soap, that was the brand of soap that I'd always used. Uh, I didn't appreciate how expensive Dr. Bronner's was. Or what I put in here was water, and when I make soap, there's all sorts of little crumbs and stuff that you scrape off or cut off of a bar so it looks prettier. And I just put those inside of here. What's nice about lard soap is that it has less suds, and usually that's one of the deterrents to making lard soap is that it's not as sudsy, and that's something that people get all excited about, like, oh god, I love bubbles. But when you're living in a situation where you're trying to minimize the amount of water you're using, whether it's a dry cabin or you're just being conscious of how much you have to use. For doing dishes and doing laundry, the large soap has the, the stain fighting and the grease fighting power that I really need, but it also doesn't take as much water to wash it away. All right, so let's go ahead and get started doing a load of laundry. I want to sprinkle in a little bit of the washing soda on that top layer. Some of this lard soap and water. Squirt on the top. A regular old style washing machine uses 40 gallons of water per load of laundry. A modern model of washing machine uses 27 gallons of water per load. And your washing machines that are advertised as more efficient use 14 gallons. So I had three gallons of water at the beginning for the washing cycle, and then I use another 48 ounces of water before I do a final drain. I will be wringing them out by hand today. I have a clothes wringer in the mail, so that's the side of a bucket and it wrings it out. I've looked at all sorts of ideas. There's the salad spinner idea, which was interesting, but the clothes wringer will fit on the side of a bucket that I already have, and I don't have to have a whole other bucket in the tiny bus. I'll be following up with you guys on this once I start doing laundry in the bus and show you how I dry them and how it's all working out. So stay tuned for more. I hope you like videos like this. If you do, please like and subscribe and check out my other YouTube videos and check out my blog. It's tinyhousewife.blogspot.com.